Okay, this is how you reread a Barbie doll's hair, and this is a story about a few fairies that I saw. A couple of fairies, I've seen more than that, but that's cool. And I'll tell you about those in another video, probably, about all fairies' stories. Well, this Barbie that I'm going to reread its hair, as you can see, I cut all its hair off. The fairy had the same kind of eyes like this, and it was the same shape as this. It had black capris on, but they were like down to here. They didn't have the skirt. She didn't have the skirt. She just had these black capris. So this Barbie kind of looks like and reminds me of the Barbie that was standing right next to my shoulder um, in the woods. This size, sitting like this, just staring at me and my dad, listening to us, what we're saying. And um, I don't even know what we were talking about. My dad was kind of talking about what this is, is I just remember that's what those last, those words that he said, what this is, is, and he continued, and I was just like, whoa, shocked, I saw this blade black portal, and I could see people in it, and this very, basically this one was the one that stood up most to me, she had black shoes that looked kind of like this, but they didn't, they wasn't high heels, and you could see her skin, you know, right here, her foot, and they're like flat, and she had a uh, red capri shirt on, it was just regular clothes, it was up to here, the sleeves went up to here, you know, and um, it was red, so I might paint this shirt red just to resemble her, and she had black hair, and it was up to here, and it was, she had a ponytail in her hair, and it was, there was a heart on her ponytail holder, wow, that was so cool, so, but I'm going to reroute her hair, this color, this rosy champagne-ish color or whatever. Kind of like a brownish rose color. Okay, well, what you do is you get this kind of needle, you know, you see that. And you look for the root of the hair. And you kind of want to get a, a little bit of a half of a, a, a root. And then you want to get a whole root. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get too much. And that's about a good enough amount to cut. And, um, okay. Then you, I'll tell you the story in a minute. Then you get, um, the other story. Then you get the needle and you obviously, you know, put it through the hole and do that. Cut off, you have to cut off, you can take off the Barbie doll's head, you cut off all the hair, make sure all the roots are uh, gone, um, you know, and if they're not as gone, you know, these aren't as gone, that's fine too, because you can just poke, poke through whatever hole you want. I want to start from the top and uh, do my way into the middle, like just one side here, we would on one side over here you know, two sides, just split in the middle, and then I'll cover the head, and then you want to do around the Barbie doll's head, that's as good as you can get to cover the whole head, and you want to get these kind of flipper things, they're not scissors, they're like clamps, or whatever they are, I don't know, but I don't remember what they're called, you just pull this through, you know, halfway, you got it, and see this? You tie a knot right here. Just make a loop, as you can see. And you tighten it. You bring it as close as you can to the root. And then you can cut off the access to the root, you know? Trim it a little bit. Trim it. Whatever. It's my pound for it. Okay, okay. And then you just pull it through, simply pull it through. And oh my god, there it goes and it stays. And it will be hair. Um, new hair for her whole head. And you keep on going. Okay, one of the stories is. Uh, I communicate with this other fairy 
But this fairy that, you know, the fairy that looked like this, most likely, um, I'm gonna name, it was in the woods, okay, but I'm gonna use the name that this other fairy told me her name was, that was in this room, at this window, right here, um, I was just talking at this window, I used to have this better of a song, I don't know what I mean. Okay. I had all spiritual experiences in here, astral projected in here, it was really cool. So, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, there's this fairy, she spelled her name in the air out of white light. It was A L L A N D A A A. A L L A N D A. Alanda. I asked everybody what, how do you pronounce this name? Some people say Alanda and some people say Alanda. But I'm going to go by Alanda because that sounds prettier. And that was the first one that I heard um, it was pronounced that way. And I recently heard that it could be pronounced Alanda. I'm not sure. There's some reason why. I don't know. And there might not be a reason. It could still just be Alanda. So. I'm going to name her Alanda after the fairy that was in this room that I communicated with. And that was weird. And she also said, one of the last things she said was, I'm, well, I'm going to go take a shower. I'll see you later. Like a real person, like a real person. I didn't know fairies, spiritual fairies took showers, baths. She said she was going to go take a shower or a bath, I think. I don't know. It was like when I was like, um, 17 or something, or 19, or 18, I have no clothes. It's one of those times, because I can't remember, I, and then I saw the, uh, F, this kind of looking fairy, you know, with the black capris and the, uh, red capri shirt and the black shoes, um, I saw her, um, probably later, or that was the first time I ever seen fairies. I'm not sure, but I've seen other fairies in my bathroom, and those were weird because they looked like, they, they, there was all kinds of them, um, and I saw all kinds of them in my room before too, and I have witnesses or whatever that Ash rejected that night too with my friend, but she wasn't staying the night, she was at her house Ash rejecting, and the long story to that too and I don't want to tell um she was speaking in angelic tongues and I didn't even tell her about our, what speaking in tongues stuff I heard um um well, there was this one fairy okay we have a bush out here that has these like red berries or whatever on it you know they look kind of like Christmas berries or some bull crap um and um I'll just have to run out there and grab it. Uh, and she had it in her hair. There's this other fairy, good God, that stood out to me. There's so many fairies, different kind of species. I didn't want to leave them out by, you know, but I, one of them just got my attention. She had all this yellowish blonde hair. It was big, like, volume. And it looked so perfect. And it was weird. Her aura was all orange and yellow, like a little yellow ball in it. And she had these three little berries or just one berry or two, not one berry, like a couple of berries, three berries probably, and those leaves, um, in her hair, just one little spot, and that didn't match her outfit or her core colors or anything, but she certainly was pretty, and, um, that was weird, so, that was one of the other times, and at the, in the bathroom, um, they acted like they couldn't see me, but I could see them. So that was weird, so, I don't know. True story.